everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today, we are going to package an order. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Here, Little Gems Creations One. Today, we are going to be packaging a order. So, I had someone order these lovely little dog booties in three different colors. They got black, brown, and green. And I ship from Canada. And if I can put my packages into an envelope, I can send them for so much cheaper. So what I do is I use my household vacuum sealer and I vacuum seal the package so that it will fit in an envelope. The things we do to save money, right? <laughs> this is how I can give my customers free shipping. So to start, I simply have to make a bag. So that takes a few minutes. So yeah. Aren't they cute? Little dog booties, sets of four. This is for the extra, extra small dogs, you know, like Chihuahuas and Yorkies and Minpins. So yeah, I'll put a link, like I said, in the description. Okay, so that is sealed. So the next thing I do is I kind of measure how long of a bag I'll want. So I'm thinking that should be plenty, maybe a little less. I cut it and then I'm going to put in the dog booties so that they will seal flat. Okay, so here we go. And then I put this in the heat sealer. Now I'm gonna warn you, this is gonna get noisy, okay? So bear with me. You put it in this little slot here. We close it up and now we're gonna vacuum seal it. So what I do is I hold it flat so that when it seals, it's sealing flat rather than curved. dog booties look after they come out of the vacuum sealer and I have this neat thing my husband got me and it just lets me know if this will go through the mail slot so see that there's some spaces that are raised so uh, that's where my rolling pin comes in handy because see we still have lots of room in the package so now I'm just gonna roll it out And that just spreads out the dog booties a little more. Okay, then I check. By the way, my husband got this at uh, on Etsy. So if you want to get one, that's where it is. I won't have a link. It was a gift, and I'm not going to go see what he paid. But see how easy that went through now? So the next step in the process is I have to decide how this will fit. So it should fit in my envelope like this, just nicely. So, I'll move that over too. I bend that over. And then, yeah, that'll fit nice, right? So then I also make sure I always give my customers something that says what it was made out of, so this is 100% acrylic yarn, and then I give the care directions, and I also give my customers a little coupon, and that just lets them know that they're appreciated. Okay, and the coupon has a coupon code that they can use when they place their next purchase in my Etsy store. So I put that 
and I put it in the envelope. Then I have made some of these nice thank you stickers, just using some um, stamps I had around the house, like for scrapbooking, because I do all kinds of crafts. I don't just knit and crochet. And I splurged and bought myself a stamp from Staples with my return address. Do that. I address the front of my envelope, make sure it's all filled, and that's it, guys. That's all there is to it. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and watch for new tutorials every Thursday. Um, check that description, too, because I put all kinds of goodies in my description. Have a great day. Bye now.